y'all, it's me. I am back. Today, we're doing a short video on House of Dragons mid-season. Where we come from, where we are now, and where we're going. Let's get started. So I'm doing this video a little bit different. Again, it's going to be a short number one and number two. It's going to be mid-season, kind of like recapping where we are in just a few words. Past, present, and future. We're going to talk about a disabled character, some storylines, and then we'll be done. Let's start in three, two, one. So first, I just would like to show y'all some beautiful pictures just from the show. Just a couple of shots, just so y'all can see and be in amazement of the series and the cinematography, I'm going to say. Are you amazed enough? Okay. So for me, I would say what is representative in terms of past, present, and future in terms of this show. For the past, I would say everything could be representative or represented in what I'm going to term as the Plan B T for Rhaenyra. Just a quick recap. Rhaenyra is the daughter of King Viserys Targaryen, which ultimately is an ancestor of the beloved Daenerys Targaryen. Well, anyway, Rhaenyra is spirited, she is headstrong, and she is the heir to the throne. In her rebellion, she does not want to be married. She ends up being seen with her uncle in a, I'm going to say, house of ill repute. <laughs> Basically meaning she's seen in a, a house where some salacious, scandalous activities are going on. Do not want to be in trouble on YouTube, so I have to say these words very carefully. A house of a lot of flesh, let's put it like that. She's seen with her uncle and then she comes home and she ends up being intimate with her knight, what is called in that era as her hand, Sir Christian. So long story short, she has found out that she has been in some very scandalous behaviors. Her father lets it slide only with the acknowledgement agreement that she marry. So she does that. And to guess, conclude everything, he gives her or he has her brought a tea to be rid of potential consequences. All right. Next, I'd say representative of the present is current Queen Alicent Hightower's green dress. Let's just look at that dress and be amazed by it. The color, the gold, accents, main color green, totally beautiful. Costume designers deserve definitely a round of applause. But anyway, that dress is a green dress, which is really her house's colors. A beacon of light when it beams in the show it's stated it beams as green for her house so recapping again she has children that are not in lines for succession male children children at that so anyway she is seeing with that dress that i want my kids to be on the throne my sons my boys not this scandalous Rhaenyra, even though let's say ex-best friend no that <laughs> she goes to the side i want my kids I am the queen. I am the pure one. So yeah, that's that's that that's what she's saying with that dress. It's almost like a a war color, <laughs> a silent war cry, if you will. And also, I didn't notice this, but definitely it was stated to me by one of my lovely subscribers is that she also is sitting near Damon, not on the side of her husband. So again, a lot going on in that scene, but that that's really on the present. A conflict is definitely coming representative, let's say, of the future. We're gonna end this with a dragon. Of course, what is he doing? Spewing fire. Let's go. Definitely representative of the war that's coming and also foreshadowing what happens with their future relative Daenerys. Again, ending with a dragon, lighting something on fire. Let's do that. Let's show that. All right, just quickly, in terms of the representation, disabled representation, there is a character, Laris Strong, who is seen in the Queen's ear, Queen Allison's in her ear. They're having a conversation in this episode, and he's the one that tells her about the tea. No one knew about it, but he just happened to see it. So we're not really sure about this character. Is he good? Is he bad? But again, he's the most visual representation of anyone with any type of physical impairments or anything along those lines of a disability and honestly as, what is this channel about the representation i'm not upset to see that to see this character not angelicized or the beacon of inspiration and 
total innocence. I like that he's a little, a little questionable. Maybe even a bad guy. You never know. Especially with an author like George R. R. Martin and with the producers and all behind the scenes. We know this show never goes as planned. Especially this was a wedding show and it ended in a death. So yeah, that is basically the recap of the series up until now. And I'm also pleased to see in the future that the actors are going to be aged. They're not just gonna makeup or anything they're actually gonna get older characters moving forward everyone's gonna look older so we've seen maybe some older and senior representation on the show so excited to see that we'll see what happens i definitely think people are either gonna be rooting for allison or rainier in the end <laughs> all right this is it thank you so much for watching appreciate your time tell me what you think how do you like this video what do you think past present future please leave that in the comments let me know and i appreciate your viewership so very much like comment share subscribe all that please please we're trying to get to at least at least 500 subscribers that really really grow this channel greatest kyla that's me copy a dm goodbye